Good morning. Oh boy, I am so glad to see you ladies this morning. I want everyone to know that we have with us here today our guardian ad litem volunteer representative, Nicole Hughes. Hey everybody. And their program really, it provides a voice for children that have been neglected and abused and every child deserves to have someone that will speak for them in court and someone whose caring and dedication can make a difference in a child's well-being. Children can be so resilient, we know, if they're provided services that they can then enjoy a safe and positive future. So looking forward to having you talk in just a few moments, but with us we also have our Community Relations Coordinator, Kenya Reinhardt from 4Kids Treasure Coast. It's one of the leading foster care providers in the nation, serving several of our surrounding communities. So we know that when a child is removed from their home for various reasons, they're then separated from family and friends and they're put into foster care and again, every child deserves a loving home. And that's where four kids steps in. You guys work so well together. So who wants to start this morning? Ooh, I want to start. All right. <laughs> okay. uh, four kids has been here in the Treasure Coast now five years. We are one of your local foster care agencies and we come alongside um, families. We recruit them, we train them, and we license them. You know what, let me take this off because you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. We recruit, we, re we train, and we license families to open up their homes to children here in Okeechobee, St. Lucie County, Martin County, and Indian River to open up their hearts and homes to kids who have been abused, abandoned, or neglected. And part of that team um, is our guardian ad litem as well. We work together to be kind of a team around kids that are in care here in Okeechobee. So Nicole, do you want to tell them a little bit about the guardian ad litem program? Absolutely. And I'll, I'll take mine down for now just so you can hear me a little bit better too. Again, my, and my name is Nicole from the guardian ad litem program. And we are volunteer advocates in the Okeechobee County for our kids in foster care. And we set up our volunteers to succeed so that our kids succeed. And we do that in a way of training them, giving them a support team here in the, uh, Okeechobee County. Um, and then of course, we do our minimal visit of once a month we see our kids, and then we go to court for them about four times a year. So we do have um, a bunch of kids in our community uh, that do not have volunteers. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the numbers later on. Um, but we really need more volunteers in the Okeechobee County to help those kids that are in foster homes, in group homes in Okeechobee. Yeah, and we also need more foster families. So we're gonna maybe head on out, take a little tour and invite oh, yeah. um, the community, community in on a little journey on what it looks like for a child here in Okeechobee in foster care. All Sounds right. great. Let's take a ride, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right. our community for our kids. So as the Guardian at Lightham volunteer, I come to doing at school um, and then also check in with the teachers. So I check with teachers, guidance counselors, um, see how they're doing. Maybe they might need a tutor in math. They might want an after school program. So I advocate for that. Sometimes they just want to play soccer in our local community. Um, and I reach out to our nonprofit to help with that. You might be wondering, how many volunteers we have in Okeechobee that go out to our schools. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that real quickly. So in Okeechobee, we are appointed to 134 children in the Okeechobee County. We currently have about 14 active volunteers that are in this county. Only 57 children currently are assigned a volunteer. So you can see by those numbers how many children are waiting for you in Okeechobee to help our kiddos. Um, and so far, the Guardian, this year in 2020, the Guardian Lighting Program has helped 18 children find home through reunification and 10 children find their forever home through adoption. So you can see that our volunteers are active in our community, in the school, as well as accomplishing big, big goals. So, you're part of it too. So, Kenya, tell us a little bit about what you do with the schools as well. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Yes, we, here we are at Okeechobee High School, and school is a huge part of a child's life, as many of us know. During these uncertain times, um, we want to thank the teachers who have made the effort to stay connected to their students, to stay in touch with them, and be the eyes and ears for them during these uncertain times. Um, school is an important part, like I said, of our 
children's lives. For many of these children who um, experience abuse, um, abandonment, or neglect, school is a safe place for them. Uh, they rely on their teachers to be a voice for them, to be the eyes for them, to be the ears for them, and to share their stories. The majority of calls that come into the Child Abuse Hotline come from our teachers. And we want to say thank you, teachers, for all you do to help children who are in crisis situations. At 4Kids, we come alongside those children as well. We uh, recruit, we train, and we license families to open up their homes to kids here in your community that are entering foster care. Um, the first choice for children that are entering foster care um, when they're removed would be a relative or a non-relative. And you, as teachers, um, have an important role in that as well. Uh, many uh, stories come up in the news where we hear where a child comes into care and a teacher who's closest to them and cares about them and loves them and supports them has said yes to opening up their homes to them. So you play an important part in that way as well. Um, we also get to see our families. When children, and there's a foster home available, and children are able to be placed with a loving home, those children are able to stay in their schools. Um, and the family is able to give that child um, personal attention and help them on their journey home, and help them through their academics, and help them with their schooling, and keep them connected academically and socially. Um, many of our staff get to be engaged with um, our schools. They come out, they get to visit, um, they get to be a part of that child's journey. And we love the village that we have. We love the team that we have at 4Kids and that we can collaborate with our community partners to be a part of that child's journey home. Absolutely. And another part of what we do is we go to court and we advocate for our kids. So Peña, you ready to head over? Let's do it. Here we go. Our next stop, we're here at the Okeechobee Courthouse. And for many of our children, their journey starts here. When children come into care, the first choice is a, a relative or a non-relative to take that child. But when there is not a relative or a family member or a friend that's available to take that child in, we look to our foster families. With an increase of 12% of children coming into care prior to the year before, we're seeing a large amount of children coming in that need foster homes. Um, so when the children come into care, we hope that we can match them with a the family here in their community. We want them to succeed on their journey home. We want them to succeed um, with visitations with their parents. We want them to succeed in their schools and we want them to succeed in healing from the trauma that they've experienced from being removed. So the courthouse is a very um, important part of their journey. Um, we have a, quite a few opportunities to come out at Four Kids. Our support workers come out and support our families. Um, we equip and we train our families to come out and you know, be a voice for children here at the courthouse, to be a voice for that child to go back home to a healthy and whole and healed family. And that is our hope. Um, our hope is that children will be able to go back home to healthy families. Um, but because of the shortage here in our community, that's not always the case. And with just about six families here in the Treasure Coast that are licensed foster homes, it's just not enough. That's about 15 beds. And so when those beds are full, Sadly, what we're seeing is many of the kids here in your community are having to leave Okeechobee and go to the surrounding counties. But we want to keep kids close to home. We want kids to go back to their families. We want them to stay connected to their families and connected to their community. And Nicole at Guardian Lightham is a really important part of that story and that part of the journey as well. So like Kenya said, a lot of their stories start here, but a lot of their stories also end here with celebration. And as the volunteer, when I talked about before, I go out to the schools, I go out to the foster home, I go out to the caregiver home over month after month after month, and I start to collect information as far as what that child needs, what I need to advocate for, what resources they need, and then I bring it here. And here is where the judge is able to hear our point of view, hear what we think is the best interest for that particular child, and make recommendations on behalf of that child to that judge. We have so many celebrations here of reunifications where our children are able to go back with their biological families after on average, an, uh, excuse me, a year and a half to two years. Now some of you might be thinking, well, why does it take that long? A lot of times our, parent, our bio parents um, of our children need to be able to find housing, they need to find jobs, um, they need to go through classes in order to equip them and give them resources 
on different things, on how to parent, um, be able to sometimes get off of substances. Um, they are strong individuals and we want to make them stronger as a community in order to be able to get their kiddos back and have our kiddos go home. We also celebrate adoption here. It's, we do. It's great. So we have um, uh, children become available for adoption and families um, that uh, have a uh, make a forever home by adoption here as well. Um, so the courthouse sometimes seems scary, right, Kenya? Um, some of our volunteers can say, hey, it's scary here, or I don't know what to do here, but we have a support team for you that goes to court with you. We do everything together as a team, and we advocate either for reunification or adoption um, in the best interest of the child. So I absolutely agree. This is oftentimes um, a place that, you know, I see as a place of hope for um, kids and families in your community because when this a strong team wraps around a child, they can thrive. When a strong community wraps around a child and a family, they can thrive. And it reminds me of one of our families that is with four kids here in Okeechobee. And it's just a beautiful picture of what it looks like for a child to stay in their community. And um, this, this family gets a call, it's an eight-year-old little girl, we'll call her Jenna. And she lives here in Okeechobee and we have at this time two foster families in Okeechobee and they happen to have a bed available and they say yes to this little girl and so what that means for Jenna is that she can stay in her school she can go to church she can participate in extra um, curricular activities and guess what she can see her biological parents and the beautiful part of a foster care with four kids is we encourage our foster parents to co-parent that means to come alongside that biological family and help them and by connecting them and supporting them to the resources in their community, your community here in Okeechobee. And with that, um, we've seen a beautiful story come and we've seen it from the beginning of the journey to the end. And we've been able to be a part of Jenna's journey home to back to her family. And during that time with a four kids family, Jenna's mom was able to connect. She attends church. Uh, the family does activities together and Jenna's mom felt supported. So Jenna's mom now has a team around her that says she can do it and that somebody believes in her. And it's so important to that family. It's so important to that child to go back to their natural family. And if they can get the support of Okeechobee community and Okeechobee businesses and the Okeechobee churches here, I guarantee you're going to see a lot more success stories here in your community. So even though we love so much talking about hope, we also love talking about fun. fun. So let's go to our next location where we have lots of fun. Let's go. Well, my final stop is here at Nutmegs. Nutmegs is a, a business here out in Okeechobee. They're one of our community partners, business partners, and we want to say thank you to them uh, for opening up their home to four kids recently for um, one of our coffee and conversations. Coffee and Conversations is one of our events that we do to invite the community in um, who are interested in maybe fostering or connecting their business or uh, our community leaders come out and share and we get to bring awareness to them about what's going on in the community with kids in foster care. So I want to say thank you to Nutmegs for doing that for us, but we also want to invite you as a community to come alongside for kids and the children and families that we serve. Your business, what you do here in the community is a vital part of a children's sense of belonging. Children don't just need to belong to a family, that's very important, but they also need to be a big part of something bigger. They also want to be a part of a community. So when they know that their community is supporting them and they feel connected to their community, they're going to feel like they belong and that they matter. And you can play a big part in that in the life of a children, child in foster care. And so we want to say thank you. We want to invite you out the next time we come. We'll post that with the things that are happening right now with the stay at home and the shutdowns. We haven't really been able to do that in person, but we really are looking forward to doing more of that. If your business or your you know, place of establishment is interested in having four kids come out and be spotlighted, we would love to come out and share your business, but also share what we do. Um, we also love the resources and the kind of give backs that some of our community partners do here for our families, whether it's uh, you know gift cards or meals or experiences. Um, we want to invite you in, share what you do, share what you love with our children and families and give them an experience during this journey home. And that's what it is. It's a journey home for our kids. Look, home looks different where, they, where that might be, but we want that journey to be a positive experience. We want Okeechobee children to have a positive, exper positive experience in foster care. From beginning to end and all in between, we want them to know that they are loved and that they matter and that the vision and the mission of 4Kids 
is a home for every child and we won't stop and we are so much stronger together. So if you're interested in learning more about 4Kids, we want to invite you to visit our website at www.4kidstreasurecoast.org. Stop by, visit us on Facebook, come out and share, let's talk, let's have that conversation. With over 100 children being served in foster care here in your community, that's a big number, but it starts with one. One conversation, one child that you can make an impact in their lives. All right, everybody, here we are at the Brown Cow where we come to have fun and to eat yummy food and drink yummy drinks. This is where, as the volunteer, I'm able to bring my gal kid and we are able to just hang out together. Get away from life a little bit, get away from the normal every day and do, and do fun things. So um, here in uh, Okeechobee, we have the Brown Cow. Um, they have great ice cream, great sandwiches, um, great little fun drinks. Um, like milkshakes and fun things. So I bring my gal kid here and we just have fun. We talk, we talk about life, we play um, little games on a table. Um, it's just good time to spend together and have a really good time. Um, a lot of times uh, there's other opportunities in our neighborhood to go to the park, um, to go to places outside and just take a walk. Um, and those are the times where we can really invest in our kids, build that bond, build that trust. Um, so again, if you're thinking um, that you want to volunteer with us or you want to have um, a, just a conversation with me about learning what it's like to volunteer, what it's like to be a part of the Guardian Alitem family, you can visit our website, which is www.guardian19.org. That's wwwguardian one nine dot org or you can call me directly and we can meet here at the brown cow to talk more about it and that's 609-680-4223 most importantly today we want to thank the chamber so kenya get back in here thank so, you chamber yes thank you so much to the okeechobee chamber if you are not a part of their family you need to be it you need to reach out to mariah you need to reach out to paulette you need to be part of our chamber family and invest and work and really really be a part of your community so we thank them so much we hope you had a great time today did you have fun today had a blast. i had a blast too so anyway yay! Yay! <laughs> we loved it thank you so much for listening and have a great day